The Evil Horde is back, and it's brought its own army. Today, we're looking at Masters of the Universe, Origins, Horde Trooper, and we brought along today's parody animation. So, hey, what do you think about Dordak's new uh, dance party there tonight? Oh, hell yeah, and keep the brews coming. Oh, those new guys are out on the floor again, showing off. It's so annoying. Oh, are they doing a uh, robot dance or something? Oh, the dance is fine. It's the robots himself. Okay, here's our horror trooper. First impressions, I like him. I like him once I got out of the package. When I first found out he was going to be in that marbleized plastic, however, I was not very happy. I was actually very disappointed. He's got more of a darker silver look. We'll see that in comparison later. But uh, yeah, but once I got him in hand, he's actually not too bad. I actually like him a little more than I originally thought I was going to once I found that out. But let's go ahead and dive right into the sleeve going on here. So we got the sleeve and of course he's got his removable parts. We got the head, which is the best feature. We're going to be able to put all the other characters on there. Well, I shouldn't say all of them, but some. We got the arms, removable waist, and of course those shins. He's also going to have that same mini comic as our previously viewed Sun Man. If you haven't watched it, go ahead and do so. I have it up on the channel. He looks pretty good there. And of course, international, no chapables. So, but it does have all the uh, characters. So there you have it. He's got one accessory, of course. He has his staff going on here. Just give me one sec. He's got a staff going on here. It looks pretty good. It's done in a red plastic. It's not too, too bad there. You kind of see you've got that bat horde symbolized going on there. I wish he would have came with a crossbow. I love my horde characters with crossbows, but it's okay. Uh, and for comparison here, we've got our Masters of the Universe Classics Horde Trooper uh, staff going on here. As you can see, they are indeed based on the same design. Looks pretty good there. Of course, one is just darker plastic than our vibrant colors that we expect in the Origins line. Okay, so articulation and, of course, action feature. Let's go ahead and run down the articulation real quick, and then we'll go ahead and we'll check out the action feature. So, of course, his articulation for the head is on the ball joint, of course. Um, you're going to be able to rotate this all around, but where it's kind of in this cavity, it's kind of funky to fool with it but he's got some good motion he's gonna be able to look way the heck down and he's gonna look way the heck up so he's pretty good that wise uh the arms are gonna be able to go straight on out there you can be able to rotate them around uh kind of not because it, it's gonna hinder because of this action feature uh you can't really push these all the way back these little shin pieces are going, or the armor pieces here are going to block that. Uh, you can move it in and out though. Uh, he's got the single elbow joint. You're going to be able to rotate it around as well. Uh, swivel in the wrist and of course the hinge backwards and forwards there. Waist is turnable. And yeah, you can remove him even with the action feature. I had him in hot water. I was trying to loosen it up and I'll explain in a moment why I was doing that. Um... You can kind of get the splits going on with him. Not all the way down, though. At least uh, not without breaking something. Uh, the knees, you can kind of bend forwards and backwards. And, of course, the swivel at the shin. And you're going to rock at the ankle there. But these pieces here at the bottom kind of hinder it. But you can get it around. You just got to put a little bit of force there. And you can go forwards and backwards. And there you have it. So, action feature. Uh, it's exactly what you expect it to be, just like the vintage one. You're going to press the button in the middle. And uh, it doesn't really work too, too well. It's um, And the reason being is because, not because the action feature itself doesn't work, it's because the joints are so loose, and which is why I was heating it up. I wanted to run them in hot water. I was hoping that I could get this part to go loose, because I remember the vintage one that I used to have. When you hit the button, this thing would flop over, flop forwards or flop backwards. So this is one of those instances where you actually want this piece to be loose. I know, right? Crazy. Who would ever want a loose joint? Well, this is one of those times. So I was kind of hoping over in time that this will get loose so that the action feature will actually work better. 
And here he is with our fearless leader, Hordax, side by side. You can see they're in the line there. You can see that the Horde Trooper just towers just a tiny bit over him, but pretty much the same size going on there. And here he is side by side with our He-Man 2.0. And I thought it'd be interesting so you could see what it looked like to have a head inside of the Horde Trooper there. It looks pretty cool. It fits nice and well. It looks pretty good there. And here we are side by side with our Classics version of the Horde Trooper. As you can see on the left side, we can see our more shiny silver, darker plastic going on here versus our light gray that we're used to seeing. This is the way that I prefer our toys and Masters of the Universe for the Horde Trooper. Anyway, there's our front view. Uh, we've got a side view going on here. And, of course, there is our, our rear view. And there you have it. There is our Masters of the Universe Origins Horde Trooper. Uh, final thoughts going on here. He's great. He's an army builder. He's probably the harder one to find from what I'm understanding, from what I'm hearing from people. Uh, hopefully you guys can find more. Uh, my issues that I have with him is my weapon doesn't like to stay in the hand very well. It likes to fall out quite a bit. Um, other than that, I'm still not a fan of that marbleized plastic. I just, I can't get behind it, even though he is a little bit better than I anticipated when I got him out of the package. You can see that he's got, uh, a crack, it looks like a crack going on the top of his helmet there, but it isn't. It's just a swirl inside the plastic. Uh, yours is going to vary. It's not going to be in the same area. You might get, uh, cracks and swirls that look like they're in the legs or the arms. It's it's going to vary for you, but maybe you'll like that. Maybe you can look at it as a battle damage sort of thing. So there you have it, guys. There is our Origins War Trooper, and I'm going to end it here. So I'll see you guys on the next one, and have a good one. 